tomorrow, uh, President Bola Tinubu has only tomorrow before uh, for him to transmit the cabinet, uh, his cabinet nominations to the National Assembly. That is what the tweaking and uh, the amendment to the Constitution now says, that uh, the governors and the president uh, will now have 60 days before, uh, from the moment they assume office to transmit the name to the National Assembly. We have a few other issues to touch on. My guest tonight is someone who is very familiar. For eight years, he was within the prisons of the, of the Aso Villa, but now he's stepped out. He does look like uh, uh, he's looking different. La Lua Kande, uh, the spokesper former spokesperson to former vice president, uh, Yemi Oshibajo. You're looking so different, La Lua. Yeah. <laughs> is, he, is he your new rebranding well, from being out of government? You can say that now that I'm back as a journalist, you know. <laughs> You'll come back I, to the other side. I've come to the real side now, <laughs> where I used to be. <laughs> Good to see you. Thank you. Thank you yeah. for having me. Give us an understanding of the kind of pressure. <laughs> this is the very first 6 59 days yeah. on the life of a new government. What, does it, what do you think might be going on within the villa? Without if you even being there physically, you can imagine what is going on there. You can imagine that, uh, you know, so, so you, you, we must understand that uh, since 1999, uh, uh, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu is the first real politician uh, that has become president. Well, you know, maybe also uh, President Jonathan, mm -hmm. you know, but for somebody who actually has to start his whole, uh, right from the beginning, not as a vice president, uh, you've had uh, uh, General uh, Chief Unje a former uh, military uh, head of state, you know, you've had, uh, um, um, uh, you know, uh, President Buhari also, yeah, yeah. you know, so so uh, so so you also had Jared Dua and Jonathan, mm -hmm. you know, uh, essentially also politicians. But, Coming from state uh, state politics yeah, into but, the but, but not not the caliber. The point is that the, this is the first time you are having a, a consummate An politician. end to end politician. Yeah, yeah. an yeah. end to end politician, a consumer politician, somebody who has also been in the game for as long as 1992. So he carries quite a lot of people along with him. And I'm not surprised that it's got a little bit of challenge uh, trying to nip this in the bud. But if you look at his pedigree, you know, uh, one of the things that you can take away from him is his ability uh, to be able to compose uh, uh, a very good team, you know, if you look at what he did in, in, in Lagos. So uh, I, I see that there, 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 there has been or there has been uh, a very intense pressure from political forces, from political interests, you know, all across the country. Uh, and he's also trying to balance it with uh, uh, putting people that he believes as the, as the, as the real capacity. So, uh, you know, uh, it's, it's been interesting, but not quite so, so surprising that it is taking him this long. Because uh, other presidents that had, we had a president, the former president of Buhari had almost six or seven months before he could transmit names of ministers. But that is not permitted again under our laws, yeah. 60 days. Yeah. That is const uh, constraining. There are people who say, what does it take to get a team together? Um, now, we understand from what we are hearing that there is a lot of removal, addition, subtraction that has mm -hmm. been happening over the last few weeks. Some people have gotten on the list. Some people have names have been removed. Some yeah. team passed through security mm -hmm. checks. Is it that difficult to, to get this kind of thing done, it's, politically uh, speaking? Well, well, I think it's a good thing that now you have a law that's, that gives a limit. I think that is, that, that is what is most important in these uh, circumstances. Of course, we know what happened in 2015. Uh, when uh, former President Buhari came and took uh, that long. Now, uh, people have felt that, look, I mean, there's public interest involved here. You can't have this much time. So that is very helpful, you know, uh, that, there's a, that, that, that there's a constraint. Uh, but it also goes to the point that, look, it's, 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 it's not always an easy thing to do. Um, now, it, 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 it also has a, a, a connotation for how decisive you can be you know, to say that, look, this is what I'm going to do. Now, he has shown that, you know, uh, in, the, in the issue of the subsidy, you know, that, that ability to say, look, look, let's just call this thing right now. Even if this it. aid I said, yeah. don't say it now. Yeah. But uh, the man uh, said, he said, look, he went, look, he went off, off, the, off, off the book. Went, and, yeah, yeah. That, that, that we are going to have to do this, so let me start off dealing with it. So that shows a little bit of uh, somebody that is decisive, uh, whichever way you look at it, up or down. 
Uh, but the issue of the selection of the cabinet uh, is, 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 uh, is as decisive. You, you would also wish that it could be as assertive on that. But there are a lot of political interests, mm -hmm. you know, uh, that, uh, that 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 play, you know. And because he didn't get into power all by himself. Absolutely, there are a lot of people who also paid some sacrifices, you know, and, I, they, and we will also be waiting. That look, all of our sacrifices it has to be. Don't forget that the governors uh, of APC were very instrumental in him getting the ticket of the APC. The governors of the APC, especially the northern governors, yes. you know, who were able to stand for the right thing when uh, we were almost at the verge. Of, uh, uh, of 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 tweaking the zoning balance. Yeah. You remember yeah. what happened when uh, the former chairman of the of the of the, of the party uh, went to announce a candidate. You know, the, the, the governors of the APC, especially those in the north, were able to stand up and say, "Hey, no, 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 no! It's time to go to the south," which is a very commendable thing that we must also say. So you imagine that people like that we also have tremendous uh, influence in what is going to happen. Now, we know that the president also is interested in putting some very uh, 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 important uh, uh, technocratic uh, capacity on the table to be able to deal with the problem mm -hmm. of the country. Yeah. So, so I see uh, a, a kind of balancing act. Uh, and like I said, at least now the law says, look, whatever you want to do, take 60 days. So tomorrow, uh, <laughs> it's going to be discussed. I, I know that within the next uh, few days, uh, it's going to be analysis of uh, those who will be in Tinobu's cabinet that probably will uh, pervade the uh, national discourse. Uh, but, but let me take you to yet another interesting area that you will like your insight on, and it's about the social register. At NEC meeting, uh, which you are uh, you were part of NEC meeting for eight years, eight years yeah. you sat in, in that meeting, so uh, governors actually play key roles. Yes. But at that meeting, they criticized the so National Social Register, which the National Social Register uh, Office had said, look, this is the most reliable social register that we have in this country. What is your view on what exactly is going on? Is it that some of the governors are not privy to the right information or the social register itself is lacking in integrity? Well, I, I think there are two important issues here. And the first thing is that uh, the, the National Social Register, as a matter of fact, is not uh, a property of the federal government. You know, uh, if you look at the way that it was developed, it's actually the states, the state governments, and by, by extension indeed, the state governors that were uh, most instrumental in developing uh, those registers in their states. So, so what you have at the, at, at the national level is the federal government now are uh, putting it together from all the states. As a database. Yeah, so that's the first point. The second point is that if you look at what has happened between uh, 2015 and, and now, there is, uh, there, there, there is, it, it's unlikely that you will find a state government that is not using those registers as we speak for their own local programs as we speak. Virtually every state government so they are consuming is the using data. the database that they had created, you know, for different programs that are not even those of the federal government. So it is possible, indeed, that, uh, that the, the new set of governors and, uh, and the ones that are, that are not new, uh, maybe there's, uh, there, 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 there's some kind of a blind side that I have not been able to figure out, you know. But there have also been people that have argued that it's possible that the, that, that the governors really want to have more control of the resources that is going to be uh, uh, coming from the federal government. Uh, so so, so it, it may be an issue of uh, the governors wanting to have more control about where the money goes to and not necessarily uh, a problem with the register. And I guess, you know, uh, and I'm, I don't know this for a fact, but it seems, and the theory has been uh, tabled, that it is probably a situation of uh, calling the, the dog a bad name just so you hang it. <laughs> because when money is involved right now, uh, uh, because the argument is being that some of the governors and the states have not been, they just see this money being shared. They have never really been part of it because it's a federal government that comes to the state. And it, I mean, when the, maybe the money is go to even the opponents. And they want their party members to benefit from it. The question is, how 
uh, this, uh, this sharing mm. will cut across. So that it's not going to one political party in a state mm. controlled by PDP, going to PDP in a state controlled by Abga, going to Abga, state mm -hmm. controlled by APC, going to APC. Right. How do you hope or think? Because over the last seven years, the Buhari government has uh, given out uh, handouts. Yeah. Uh, do you think that this will not have political uh, uh, implications or uh, 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 donation? Yeah, and, and, and w w which is, in my view, uh, based on my own experience, uh, one of the, uh, the strengths of the National Social Register is that it, 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 is, uh, it is composed, the, the, the composition of the list is, is a very fairly and actually very comprehensively objective process where uh, 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 you know, people will go, the enumerators will go to the communities and each community determines and defines what it is that they consider to be poverty and then drops the list from the communities to the local government to the states where the, 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 the register is actually drawn and then it goes, to, it goes back to the federal government. And, and in terms of the disbursement, what has happened and, and what uh, 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 people have seen is that the monies go directly from the coffers of the federal government to the, uh, to the bank accounts of the beneficiaries. And so, 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 so you don't have the opportunity where uh, there can be some kind of uh, yeah. third party uh, interference. Uh, yeah. So, so, and, and this is a process, you know, that even the World Bank uh, uh, have, have, have come out to explain that, look, we are very sure of the credibility of mm. this thing. We, we are part of it. As a matter of fact, uh, the, uh, the African Network for uh, Environmental and Economic Justice, ANEJ, uh, uh, issued a statement, I think, over the weekend, where they said that, look, it's on the basis of this social register, national social register, that Nigeria was able to take back about 500 million of their Abacha loot uh, because the Swiss court had insisted that, look, we are returning back this, uh, uh, this money and we want to be sure that it goes to the Straight Nigerian to the people. people. Yeah. And so the social register was what enabled that uh, to happen. It's good to see you again. Thank you for having me. <laughs> new look. Thank you. New I, life. I think it's a, it's a good new look. <laughs> <laughs> Lalo Agade, this you, was sir. a uh, special advisor to former uh, Vice President uh, um, uh, Professor uh, uh, Shibajo uh, when he was Vice President of Nigeria. Thank you so much indeed for coming. It's good to see you. Thank you so much. And welcome back to the phone. Thank you so much. <laughs>